We've been promised self-driving cars for over a decade. No steering wheels, no stress, no human error, just effortless, autonomous travel. Now, that dream is finally hitting the streets. Companies like Waymo, Tesla, Amazon Zooks, and Baidu's Apollo Go are locked in a global race to dominate the robotaxi revolution. But who's really leading the way? Which company is building the smartest and safest driverless fleet? And more importantly, would you actually get in one? Let's take a look at the rise of the robotaxi and find out who's steering the future of transportation. A robotaxi is exactly what it sounds like, a taxi without a driver. These vehicles use a mix of sensors, AI, cameras, radar or LIDAR, and electric power to carry passengers safely from point A to point B. In theory, it's Uber, without the awkward small talk. Robotaxis are already operating in select cities in the US, China, and parts of Europe. Some even run completely driverless, monitored remotely instead of by humans behind the wheel. The idea is simple. Reduce costs, increase safety, and transform the way people move through cities. But execution? That's where it gets complicated, and where the race gets interesting. While Western headlines often focus on Tesla or Baidu's Apollo Go has quietly become the world's largest and safest robotaxi operation, Baidu, often called China's Google, has logged over 200 million kilometers of autonomous driving without a single major accident. That's a staggering achievement in one of the busiest traffic environments on Earth. Apollo Go cars are already ferrying passengers daily across Beijing, Wuhan, and Shenzhen. With fully driverless services in several zones, inside, the experience feels futuristic but friendly. Roomy seating, interactive voice assistance, and smooth, confident navigation through chaotic streets. The company recently partnered with CATL, the world's largest EV battery maker, to improve energy efficiency and digital intelligence. And it's working. Where Apollo Go truly stands out is its real-world performance. This isn't a prototype. It's public transport. The only major drawback? Geography. Most of its deployments are still within China meaning it's a technological powerhouse that much of the world hasn't yet experienced. Still, if Robotaxis had a most proven award, Apollo Go would already be polishing the trophy. Now let's move west to Tesla, the company that made electric cars cool and now wants to make drivers optional. Tesla's Robotaxi is the centerpiece of Elon Musk's dream of a fully autonomous future. Unlike other robotaxi programs, Tesla's approach is bold, some would say risky. It uses a vision-only AI system, meaning no LiDAR or radar. Instead, Tesla's cars rely entirely on cameras and neural networks, trained on billions of miles of human driving data. The goal is to turn every Tesla on the road into a potential robotaxi. One day, owners could let their cars work for them picking up passengers while they sleep. It's an ambitious vision that could instantly scale to millions of vehicles worldwide. Tesla's advantages are clear. A huge global fleet, unmatched data collection, and an existing charging network that other companies could only dream of. But the downsides are just as real. Vision-only AI still struggles with unpredictable urban conditions, like fog, snow, and jaywalking pedestrians and regulators remain cautious. To launch at scale, Tesla needs to prove its cars can safely operate without any human backup. If it succeeds, it could redefine mobility. If it fails, it'll serve as a cautionary tale about the limits of confidence, or overconfidence, in AI. And then there's Zooks, Amazon's futuristic entry into the robotaxi market, a company that's not modifying existing cars, but reinventing them. Zooks's vehicle looks like something from a sci-fi movie, because it kind of is. It's completely symmetrical, can drive in both directions, and has no steering wheel or pedals. Inside, passengers sit face-to-face -face in a social layout, surrounded by screens, ambient lighting, and voice control. 
It's less car and more rolling lounge. Amazon's deep pockets give Zooks the freedom to perfect its design rather than rush to market. Its safety philosophy starts at the hardware level. With 360-degree LiDAR and sensor coverage, redundant systems, and custom electric architecture, Zooks isn't chasing mass deployment yet. Instead, it's running pilot programs in Las Vegas and San Francisco, proving the concept works before scaling up. The result? Probably the most polished passenger experience in the entire field. Zooks might not be first, but it could end up being the most refined, the apple of autonomous vehicles. And we can't talk about robo-taxis without mentioning Waymo, the quiet veteran that's been driving itself for over a decade. Waymo isn't some futuristic promise. It's already on the roads in Los Angeles, San Francisco, Phoenix, Austin, and Atlanta, with Miami and Washington, D.C. next on the list. It's also teamed up with Uber in select cities, letting people hail autonomous rides directly through the Uber app, no human driver required. What really makes Waymo stand out is its safety record. According to its own reports, Waymo vehicles are involved in 91% fewer serious injury crashes and 80% fewer injury-causing incidents than human drivers in the same areas. That's not marketing spin. That's millions of real-world miles logged, analyzed, and audited. Its mission isn't just about tech, it's about trust. Waymo's world's most trusted driver tagline speaks to its accessibility goals, providing reliable rides for people who can't drive themselves, including the disabled and visually impaired. But for all its progress, Waymo's reach is still limited to the U.S., and its proprietary Waymo driver system makes it hard to scale as fast as Tesla's fleet or Baidu's nationwide expansion. Still, if we're measuring maturity and safety, Waymo may quietly be the closest thing we have to a robo-taxi done right. Now that the big players are on the board, let's see how they stack up. Baidu's Apollo Go dominates in scale, over 200 million kilometers driven without a single major accident. A staggering number that reflects China's push for safe, publicly accessible autonomy. Tesla's robo-taxi is still gearing up for launch, but its strength lies in numbers it can instantly tap into Tesla's massive global fleet and charging network, turning almost any Tesla into a ride-hailing vehicle overnight. But its vision-only AI approach remains controversial. Impressive in open-road driving, but riskier in dense urban environments where LiDAR-based rivals might fare better. Zooks, backed by Amazon, took a different route entirely, building a car from scratch with no steering wheel and face-to-face -face social seating. It's built for comfort and city travel, but its rollout is small for now, limited to select U.S. cities. And then there's Waymo, the quiet veteran in the race. With 91% fewer serious crashes than human drivers, it's earned its reputation as one of the safest autonomous services on the planet. Its focus on accessibility, from disabled friendly design to reliable service in multiple U.S. cities, makes it the most inclusive of the bunch. But for now, it's largely U.S. only, and scaling internationally could prove a challenge. Each company brings its own edge. Apollo Go with partnerships and national reach, Tesla with network potential, Zooks with design and comfort, and Waymo with unmatched safety and trust. The real question isn't who's winning, it's who can turn these early advantages into something global, reliable, and genuinely driverless. The robo-taxi revolution isn't here yet, but it's learning to crawl. We're still in the early stages. Limited routes, controlled test zones, and a lot of safety drivers on standby. These machines aren't ready to take over the streets just yet, but they're getting closer every month. China's Apollo Go is leading large-scale trials with public riders. Tesla is promising a massive fleet powered by real-world driving data. Amazon Zooks is perfecting urban design and comfort, one city at a time. And Waymo, the quiet veteran, continues proving that long-term safety and consistency matter more than hype. Right now, robo-taxis are taking baby steps, but each step is faster, smarter, and more confident than the last. So maybe the real race isn't about who wins first. 
it's about who gets it right. Want to understand the AI shaping this revolution and how to use it in your own business or career? Join our AI Cyclops workshops at the AICyclops.com. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share because the future isn't just driving itself, it's accelerating.